I want to show you how to texture paint using Blender. Um, so I've got a cube. I'm going to get right into it and change um, ourselves to textured mode. And to open up the transform panel and change shading to uh, GLSL. Uh, I want to change my lamp as well to a Hemi. From a Hemi gives like an even lighting um, over the entire scene. Right, I'm going to right click the cube, tab into edit mode, and unwrap it to give it a UV map. UV, uh, smart UV project will be fine for this one. And now I need to change it from edit mode to texture paint mode. And we get a warning up saying uh, missing materials, add a paint slot. Um, so I'm going to add a paint slot, I'm going to add a diffuse. Um, now this can be any colour you like. Um, I'm just going to go with whatever the colour that is, just OK it and you see that drop in. Now we're able to just draw straight on top of this, which is good. Um, and we, we've also got, like we were using in, um, um, when we were doing sculpt mode before, we've also got uh, a symmetry mode, which we can turn on, um, okay, so we can see it, and that lets you draw with your strokes kind of mirroring each other. Um, now depending on which axes you turn on, you can have um, as much going on as you like, which is quite a powerful way of creating kind of pattern. Um, and we can also do layers, which Blender calls slots. Um, so you can pile up your images out of more than one layer. Um, to add a layer, we're going to add another texture we're going to add a diffuse color again um, but we need we need the um, transparency checkered grid pattern to show up here excuse me to do that um, click on the color picker and see we've got red green blue we've also got a for alpha if we turn the alpha all the way down to zero then you see this checkerboard pattern which is what we need to see click OK now select the new layer. Also, you can cut, you can um, double click on these and rename them there to anything you like to make it make a little bit more sense. And then we're painting on a new layer. Um, so if we put um, blue on, we can see we're painting over this onto a separate piece. Let's turn up our opacity here so we can uh, see what we're doing. Do -do -do. Uh, now each one of these, if you go, is creating a new layer in the materials textures panel. You see we've got um, the first bit we did and our new layer on top of it. Um, you see you can't see the alpha here, if you turn on show alpha, you can actually see what we're looking at. Show alpha, which is handy. Um, so that's how to add layers. Um, you can also paint using a texture. Um, if you load in a texture over here, a new open um, a bit of letters. Uh, maybe there's one in here. Just looking for a texture. Uh, I want a seamless texture. Uh, do, 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 that'll do. Let's load that one in. Um, now you need to uncheck it here, otherwise it just displays on top of everything. Um, but back in the tools brush thing, if you click on texture and click on that window, you'll see this texture is loaded in over here. And what's cool about this is it lets you draw using the texture. Um, hang on, I've still got my colour set as blue. Um, let's, let's make it kind of white so we can actually see what we're doing. See, so we're just drawing straight in with. I think it's a kind of carpet texture. No, no. Now, because I've zoomed in, you see it's rescaled the texture, which can be a good thing, can be a bad thing. Also, if you change the brush size and go with a bigger brush, it will draw in bigger. Um, it's either useful or a problem depending on what you want to do. Um, to get out of um, texture painting mode, I believe you just close that 
and then we should be back painting in color. There we go. Hey, and that's the basics. Thank you.